开了。My name's Eden. I lived in China before, right here in Beijing, where I am right now. Now I'm coming back to China after having been at Nottingham for a year doing Chinese studies. And I'm not going to be in Beijing. I'm going to be in a little place called Ningbo. I wrote to the University of Nottingham and I said, "Hi, Mr. University." Or misses, could I, for your interests, for the purpose of marketing, educating prospective students entirely at my expense, could I make a vlog for you? So I get all the equipment I do all the time. All you'd have to do is is publish it. To which that swift reply was, no. So I thought, you know what? I don't need a university to back me for that. I'm gonna make it anyway. Great film. So here I am in Beijing for one more day, and then I'm going to Ningbo. I'm Eden. This is the vlog. I hope you enjoy the ride. I'm currently on my way to meet my friend Candice at her university. But on the way, I thought maybe I'd try and explain why I'm doing this. I ask you, when was the last time that you heard? On the news, something positive about China. Ooh, it's bright. When was the last time that you had it reported on the news that China was a world leader in green energy, or it had some of the best public transport in the world? Its train system is insane. There are so many achievements and incredible aspects of Chinese culture, economy, transport, logistics, government. But really, all you hear. Is the bad stuff. So, apart from trying to document some of my own experience, one of the goals of this vlog for no one that's going to watch is to try and actually present some of the things China gets right. Because you hear a lot about what China gets wrong, but very little about what it gets right. One thing that China does very well is tea. As I said, I was in Beijing before studying Chinese course here, and I had that weird feeling of being in a place that is so intrinsically tied to a time, but actually it's not that time anymore, and everything's changed. That's one thing about China: is that things change so quickly. Your favorite dumpling place, the place that you used to go to get that drink. You get here and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna go there, and it's just gone. There's someone else selling fruit where you used to buy pancakes. This place is new. Part of me likes that though. That impermanence is. Difficult to plan for, and things that you got emotionally attached to are not there anymore. But it's exciting. China changes all the time. One of the challenges, but also great rewards, is trying to keep up. The suitable things that you didn't do give you a lot more trouble than the unsuitable things you did. Something that's exploded, though, since I haven't been here, is these bikes. The idea being that it's、uh, the Uber of bikes, I suppose, where you get on, you pay to ride, you leave it wherever. Problem is here, <laughs> people really leave it wherever. So I'm nearly at the university where I'm meeting Frank Addis, and I think. See that they're checking student cards, which is an issue because I don't have one.、Um, we'll have to see how this plays out. 
Okay, I got in, it's all good. This guy, this is Peking University. This is where I'm meeting Candice in approximately four minutes. As long as you consent to be on the vlog. Uh, oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> you meant, you Hi, meant, oh Candice. <laughs> Candice, where are we going? We're going to have some baozi, alfresco style. Is this a common lunchtime ritual for you? No, but for like white people such as yourself. <laughs> Candice, tell me the one great thing about studying here. The one great thing about studying here um, is getting to meet fun people. Like I met this guy. Stop it, you. <laughs> we. with my then friend, now girlfriend. The whole way here, she was showing me around Beijing. She'd just been asking for directions in Chinese. She'd been ordering food in Chinese. This utterly foreign place to me looked completely like home to her. And after being inspired by that, then, Beijing is a very special place, but I'm only here for one more day. And then the next chapter begins. But yeah, that's it for now.